I'm Gabrielle DeVietri, I'm the Greens candidate for Richmond. I'm a long-term local, I'm the former mayor and I'm a parent of two. I've lived in the electorate for almost 20 years, first in North Richmond and now in Collingwood. I've always fought for this community, whether it's as an artist, an activist, leading divestment movements, um, as a, a paralegal standing up for the rights of refugees and asylum seekers, stopping the east-west toll route with our community effort, or as your mayor fighting for a climate safe, equitable future for everyone. But what I realised during those times is that some of the problems that our community faces can't be solved at a local government level alone. There are systemic fights, bigger picture fights, that actually need to happen at a state level to make sure that we have that climate safe, equitable future for everyone. And so that's why I'm running for state parliament, to have urgent action on climate change, to make sure everyone has a secure, affordable home uh, roof over their heads, and to fight for integrity in this parliament. People in Richmond have a real choice this November to elect a strong, independent voice for Richmond that will fight every day for the things that matter most. I love living in this area, but I believe that our streets can be so much more than what they are. We all love to see streets that are full of people, full of life, full of greenery, uh, full of energy and art. We want people-focused neighbourhoods that are diverse and thriving. The Richmond of the future will have kilometres and kilometres of protected bike lanes. It will have street trees and gardens lining every street. It'll have bitumen turned into pedestrian oases. In Parliament, I'll fight to transform more of our car parks into outdoor dining spaces, to turn roads into parks, uh, to have spaces for music and for playing, um, for markets and for creative spaces. I'll fight for frequent zero carbon transport options for everyone, regardless of their age and ability. We're also proposing a town square for the corner of Bridge Road and Gladeal Street, a refresh Victoria Street fund for local businesses in Victoria to refresh their uh, shop fronts with grants of up to $10,000 for 50 local businesses and to allow outdoor dining on Victoria Street and Bridge Roads to bring life back to Richmond. Everything I do is for a climate safe, equitable future for everyone. We're in a climate crisis. There are floods affecting us right here, right now. We have fire warnings for the future. We need to transition urgently to 100% renewable energy by 2030 to keep people safe. But Labor and Liberal are pouring fuel on the fire, opening up new gas projects and extending the life of our coal-fired uh, power stations. I will fight every day in Parliament for a climate safe future for everyone. We are also experiencing an inequality crisis. Everyone should have a secure, affordable roof over their heads and yet people are feeling the skyrocketing cost of um, living the skyrocketing cost of rents. Everyone should be able to have access to quality free education. Everyone should have access to quality free health care when they need it. Nobody should have to choose between putting food on the table and paying rent. That's why in Parliament I will fight to cap rents, to build 100,000 new public homes across Victoria in the next 10 years, to make uh, more free GPs and nurses available for people when they need them and to bring down the cost of energy with a publicly owned 100% renewable energy retailer. Labor and Liberal have lost sight of what's important and too many of their decisions are being made for their corporate donors and not the community that they represent. In Parliament, I'll be a strong independent voice and the reason why I can do that is because the Greens are people powered. We don't accept money from the gambling industry, from the fossil fuels industry, gas corporations, or from property developers. And so our values are the values of our community. And every day I'll fight for what matters to the people of Richmond. A beautiful street is where anyone, regardless of age or ability, can move around safely. A beautiful street is where we have trees creating a canopy and keeping us cool. A beautiful street is where there is local art and local businesses thriving and interacting with our local community. 
A local street, also a beautiful street, also has civic spaces where people can occupy public space without having to pay for something or buy something. This is the street of the future in Richmond. We've already seen beautiful streets like this, where we have street art, where we have people constantly out in the street enjoying each other's company. And I think that we can do more of it here in Richmond. Our streets should absolutely be safe enough for kids to be able to bike to school. That means pedestrian focused streets with protected bike lanes, streets with plenty of greenery so that in summer we mitigate that urban heat island effect, we have shade to walk under and to cycle under. It means slowing traffic down with different interventions with 30 kilometre speed limits and streets that are focused on people, not on cars. The Greens have a plan to make our transport system safe, accessible and, and sustainable. Starting with making our tram stops accessible, we're pushing to double the number of accessible tram stops, starting with Route 78. We will push to build 15 kilometres more of protected bike lanes here in the electorate of Richmond, which would include bike lanes on Bridge Road, uh, on Swan Street, Church Street, Coppin Street, Lennox Street, Alexandra Parade, Johnson Street, Smith Street, Brunswick Street, and to support council to build more protected bike lanes on council-owned roads as well. We will push to increase the frequency of trains and trams so you don't have to wait more than five to ten minutes to get to where you need to go. We will make public transport cheaper for everyone. We will uh, push for a new bus route along Burnley Street, uh, connecting, coming over the river to Victoria Gardens and down um, past the river in the south. Um, we will push for a new fleet of 3,000 electric buses. We want to see the Walmer Street Bridge built. We want a huge investment in pedestrian amenity, creating new pedestrian priority zones on Gladeal Street, on Perry Street in Collingwood, and a focus on pedestrian amenity and crossings around Cremorne. We will push to scrap the EV charging, the EV tax, and build more electric vehicle charging stations across the electorate. Everyone should be able to get around to where they need to go, whether they're walking, wheeling or riding. We need to make sure that our transport is integrated so you can pick up a bike, leave it at a station in a secure lockable bike um, lockup, take a tram or a train to where you need to go and that all of those modes of transport are well connected and integrated. We need to boost our investment in active and public transport and work across all levels of government to make sure that our transport system is smooth, it's sustainable and it's accessible for everyone.